we've gotten our hands on some new starts and leaks information and as usual we're going straight into it a big thank you to the pipeline discord channel for getting these leaks out news is that on tuesday june 27th now take this with a grain of salt as this is all leaks and it could change it could be true it could be untrue but let's just take it to say um, in good faith that it is true that um, on june 27th they will be running a play test um with many star citizen developers and this is for the evil Cardi. okay so what they're going to do is um, on that tuesday they plan to do a two to three hour play test and um, this is going to comprise of um, getting people together into um, certain locations and testing the load now they want to get as close to 200 players onto the server um, as possible as, as close as they I guess they can All right, and that's that's pretty good because right now the server loads are around um, 100 110 maybe 120 so it looks like uh, uh, the last time they did something like this they uh, bumped up the server loads from I think 50 all the way up to 100 so it's, it looks like it's good news it looks like the net code is probably ready for to allow for more players on a specific server okay so before we continue i'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of june this time it's the mirai fury if you want to participate all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of june let's move on now with this um they have um up to five phases in this testing cycle and um, the first phase is spawn which will will cause the players to load into orson um, landing zone and they're asking them not to purchase anything but to load in to get everybody to load in at that landing zone next is they're going to get everybody to go to crew l1 to fly over there and um to also just to be there and not to purchase any ships not to um spawn any ships yet until everybody's there then they're going to do a capture there at that point and then they're going to get everybody to get ships and go to a planet side. So this one is going to be on Daymar where they're going to move everybody over to area. Uh, I think the mining area 141 on the surface and then they're going to capture data there. Next is combat. The phase four right here. It says um, they're going to get players to um, spread out and fly to either Grim Hex or for Alisar and land. Um, once there, they're going to get everybody to claim um, their own ships and they're going to leave the hangar or uh, landing pad and head over to Grim Hex to prepare for battle. So what they're going to do once they're there is to wait until everybody's there and to just have everybody wait there until a countdown timer counts down to get everybody to do the battle so they can capture the data then. And then phase five is to get everybody to split up and fly to, well, at least those that died in the battle, to fly to anywhere, um, to as many random places in the PU as possible, so they can capture the data. Then, so hopefully this this works, um, this goes well. This way they can bump up the player counts once again, at least in terms of uh, the infrastructure. Things are looking good to at least uh, to get them to the point where they want to bump it up to 200 players. So hopefully we do get 200 players soon. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next one.